Hey guys, Crystal at Crystal's Crafties. Um, today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can make your own little um, mandala type designs in Cricut Design Space. This does not use any outside source to do it. Um, for this one, I'm going to do the H in the mandala and I'm going to do the P. I've already done the H, but I will show you today how to do it and I'm going to work on the P. I'm leaving the O and the E um, solid colors. Okay, so I've already got all of this here. I'm just going to pull my P out and I'm going to hide the rest of this. So I'm going to group it all together and then I'm just going to come and hide it because all we're really working with right now is the P. Okay, um, so to do this, you're going to need, you know, your you can do it with words, you can do it with um, shapes, you know, if you have like a butterfly or a heart, whatever it is you're wanting to make the mandala on, you want to get your main design up here first, so mine is the P. And then you're going to need to pull in your elements. Um, most of the time it's going to be flowers, but it can be um, Aztec or tribal designs or whatever you want, just go get your elements. I have these flowers. I'm going to use elements from all of them, so I'm going to um, put all of them into my design. And I got these um, from my favorite place ever, Creative Fabrica. But you can get them from Etsy, or you can even use the ones that are in Design Space. These are huge. I'm just making them smaller. Um, wherever you want to get your elements from, just get your elements, and you'll put them in. This guy needs me to resize up here. Fine, I will. Okay, so um, I do not want to resize my P simply because I need to put it back in the design, but this is too small. I want this to be bigger so that um, I can really see what I'm doing. So I'm going to enlarge the size of my page. Let me make these a little bit smaller also. Okay, so I'm just kind of moving all of this together in one general work area, and then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to put this probably at 175, and then I'll scroll to where I can see everything again. Okay, now that's perfect. That's the size I can look at and tell what I'm doing. Okay, these are nice individual elements. This is one big group, so I need to come over here and ungroup it so that I can pull each part out separately and use whatever I want. And really all I want from here are these little flowers, the leaves, I just need a couple leaves, and um, this this little leaf thing, vine, whatever this is. I'm going to kind of put the rest over here out of my way. I might use it, I might not, I don't really know. Okay, one fun thing to do is have these hollowed out flowers or elements, but you also want some solid ones to kind of fill in the gap. And you can use the same exact SVG and use it both ways. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to take this guy here. I want to duplicate him. And then I'm going to leave one hollow and I want one solid. In order to get this, I'm going to come to contour. And it will always be, you want to click the most solid layer you have. Click that and then X out. And now you'll see I have the solid flower here and the hollow flower there. I'm going to do that with all of my flowers. Oops, I forgot to duplicate. you got to duplicate first. Hold on. Okay, duplicate. <laughs> and then I will make my solid. So I'm going to come down here, duplicate, contour, Click my first large one. Okay, now I have hollow and solid for everything. Okay, so then you just start placing your flowers or your design, whatever it is you're using, just put it in however you think is going to look best. And I want that one to be a little bigger. And I think I want to rotate it this way. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Um, some things to consider. You see how this, um, the leaf is going over my P? Well, that's going to cut out the P when we're done, and that's okay as long as, you know, that look is okay with you. If you don't want any cuts in your outline here, then you need to bring this to where it's not overlapping any edges. 
or you would need to make it smaller. I'm okay with it being up there. I want it right there just like that. And then I want this guy. And this is all up to you. I mean, you just put stuff where you want it. It is 100% your preference. I'm going to rotate this guy. Okay, let me duplicate and get another one. A smaller one, maybe. And bring it down here. Let's see. So maybe like here for this one. And then let me duplicate this guy and kind of put him maybe smaller in here. And then we'll duplicate this one and get it kind of up here. Um, no, I want it smaller. Put him over here maybe and rotate just a bit. I don't want any of my flowers touching. Um, but that's just a personal preference. Um, it, it can get a little bit messy, though, if, if you touch everything together. So just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to use some of my leaves. And I'm going to put, let's see here, rotate it, make it smaller. I'm putting a leaf here on this guy. Duplicate. Rotate it, put one on the other side. Rotate that a little bit. Uh, maybe I want it up here, actually. So I don't want it off the page. I'm going to flip this. Um, there we go. Here we go. Okay, that's better. <laughs> so this takes a lot of, you know, just kind of working with things and getting everything where you want it. That's probably too big. I'm going to use this one up here. And make that a little bit smaller. Bring another one down here. Put that guy in there. Okay, so I've got a pretty good amount of the big hollow flowers. Now I want to add in some of these um, leaf elements. And you just put them wherever you want them. You know, that one's going to go there. Let me duplicate that. I'm going to get another one over here, but I maybe want it going the different direction. I want that bigger, actually. Okay, so we've got a good um, base going on. And you want your hollow flowers to be the biggest ones because they're going to be the hardest. Um, you know, all you have of the vinyl is this line right here. So it's going to be harder to, to weed in all of this if you don't make your hollow flowers the biggest. And now I can go in with my solid flowers and just kind of place them anywhere I want them. Make that guy a little bit bigger. Rotate it because it's right beside the other one that's identical. In fact, I don't want to do that. I'll put this, whoops, no, go back where you were. Okay, I'll put hmm, this guy. Oh my goodness gracious, you go up here. And now you can go back over here. And then I'll put this guy in here. Okay. Oh, I wish that thing would quit moving. Okay, so now it's time for these little guys. You just kind of put them in wherever. Every time I click here, it's going to highlight this because you know, the square around this object is so big. So now I've got to go find, I'm looking for this guy right here. I've got to find him over here. Here he is. I'm going to duplicate a few of these. Okay. And some more. I'm 
Let me get that little, little one. I want this one. No. Where is it? This guy. Yep. I want to duplicate some of these and just kind of fill in your spots. Then we're going to need another flower here. Um, maybe this one. Make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. And I think I'm going to put one more leaf right over here on this. Because that side's looking just a little empty. Okay, so now my pea is full. It's got everything it needs. Let me put a couple more of these. I thought it was full with everything it needed. There, that's good. Okay, so here's the stuff I didn't use. I'm just going to drag a box around it, delete it, and get it out of my way. Here's everything I did use. Now, to make the mandala, we're going to weld all of these flowers together and then slice them out of the pea. So I need to come find my pea and just turn it off. Now I can drag a box around all of this, hit weld, and it becomes one object. Come over here, turn my P back on. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so now I'm gonna drag a box around everything again that has highlighted my actual P and all the little flowers that I put in, and I'm gonna hit slice. Now we've gotta move everything out of the way. We don't want that. We don't want that. And wait, hold on. We don't want this. These were the ones that came up and over. Okay, so there's my P. Okay, let me make my screen back to a normal size. And I'm going to um, bring the rest of my word back in. And then I'm just going to place my P here. And that's it. I have the two mandalas now cut out. Let me make this just a little bigger so you can see everything that I did with it. So you can see, uh, let me turn it a better color just so you can really see all of the details and elements that are in here. So obviously everything blue is what you're going to leave. This little white sliver is what you're going to weed out. You're going to weed out this little white sliver. You're going to leave weed out this big one and leave the little dot. Again, you know, you'd weed out the big one and leave the little dot. Um, you'd weed out this entire vine. You'd weed out that entire vine. I'm not sure what happened here. That flower did something really weird. I'm just going to ignore it and move on with my day, though, because um, there will be extra vinyl in here when you cut, and you can just leave it in. That's the greatest thing about these mandalas. If you do make a mistake, you just pull out what you don't want and leave in what you do. All right, I'm going to make this back small. Put it back in the P. Okay, and we're all done. That's all there is to it, guys. Um, if you want to see how I got this offset, um, this is not something that was done within Design Space. Let me show you. Ungroup, and I want this. And this, and this, I want to move them out of the way. Okay, this is an offset that I made um, in another program called Inkscape. You can't do this in Cricut, um, but if you want to know how to do that, I will link to the video and you'll see how to do it. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. See you next time.